Hi everyone, this video is presented by Easy Economics. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss production possibility frontier with you in detail, which is also called production possibility curve in economics, but both are same. So, what is production possibility frontier? To understand this, we need to first use the curve. So, this is your curve. Curve for production possibility frontier. What does this curve shows? It shows the maximum attainable combination of two product X and Y that can be produced if if the country use this uh, use its resources efficiently. Suppose there is a point A, B, and C on this curve. Okay. So what this point suggests? This point suggests efficient utilization of resources. Okay, or one can say that it uh, the production possibility curve reflects the mix of combination of two goods such as A, B, and C that can be produced with the given technology. In economics, we use tech, uh, we take a technology as labor and capital, and in this curve, it is considered a constant. Okay, so there there are uh, some things that need to note here. For example, suppose there is a point D outside this curve. So what this uh, suggests that uh, it shows the combination of good that cannot be produced. So this is the point that cannot be achieved because there are there are not enough resources to uh, for an economy to actually produce at point D. Why? Because the resources are scarce and a country can only do production within this curve. And these are the feasible points on within this curve. And all the points outside this curve are non-feasible and which cannot be produced. Why? Because there are not enough resources available to produce what a country want. And this resources scarcity derive the choice of combination where a country has to choose where to produce on this curve. Okay, at point B or C or C or B, A, B, C or at point D. Okay. So, uh, suppose there is a point E inside this curve. So, what this point means? It is feasible and it is attainable point and here a country can produce easily but there is a there is a problem of inefficiency here why because if you if a country produce at this point then country can produce uh, at point m or n okay maximum of good x and y but only producing at p at point e which is inefficient utilization of system and most of the resources are not utilized by an economy okay which is which suggests that economy uh, at, econom at, at point E, a country is using in its, its resources inefficiently. Now, uh, there are some basic assumptions that you need to understand to understand production possibility frontier. So, first is, uh, you can, in, the, in the production possibility frontier, there are two goods that, that we use to understand production possibility frontier. So, suppose there is, on the x-axis, we have food. On the y-axis we have cloth okay so this is two goods second uh, the technology and resources are considered as constant third all this technology and resources has to be utilized efficiently okay fourth these two goods cloth and food should not be perfect substitute but they can be substituted using the uh, using the factor of production okay what does it means oh, it suggests that when a country move from a point to b point to c point it is substituting factor of cloth for the production of food and it is shifting the factors from cloth to food production okay and which uh, we can understand this more uh, better in, by using the slope of the PPC curve. So what is the slope of the PPC curve? It is marginal rate of technical substitution. What is marginal rate of technical substitution? It is nothing but the quantity of good Y that must be give up to producing an additional unit of good X. Okay. So what is marginal rate of technical substitution? Is change in Y due to change in X slope. Okay. So y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So this is your slope. And here we know that. So uh, if if a country move from A to B, 
and b to c and c to d so what is suggesting this is your change in y this is your change in x this is your change in y1 this is your change in x1 this is your change in y2 this is your change in x2 so a uh, production possibility point here suggests that marginal rate of technical substitution will increase as we move along the curve okay as we move along the curve it suggests that if uh, if country uh, move from point a to b to c or d marginal rate opportunity cost will increase which suggests that quantity of y uh, need to, need to be give up more to produce one additional unit of good x which is food air so cloth has to be give up more and more to produce one quantity of food why why is it so this opportunity cost increase because when we move uh, factors from one good cloth to other good food production so this factor are specialized in making cloth but they are not specialized in making food okay so if we uh, if we increase the production of food by additional unit this additional unit the factor is coming from cloth production they are not efficient so we need to give up more more resources from cloth to produce an additional unit of food okay because uh, this uh, suppose uh, this labor is not specialized in making food so we need more labor from uh, from uh, we need to shift more labor from cloth industry to food industry to make more food quantity of food okay for making more additional quantity of food okay so what does this is means in this curve we know that uh, the marginal rate of technical substitution is increasing as we move as we increase one additional unit of good x and this means that marginal rate of technical substitution at point a b from a to b is less than marginal rate of technical substitution from b to c and it is less than marginal rate of technical substitution from c to d okay now there are three things that you need to note about this production possibility curve first first this production possibility curve can be like this what this curve suggests this curve suggests that uh, opportunity cost is constant that means that you you are giving uh, giving same unit of quantity y when you are producing an additional unit of quantity x okay but the slope of this curve will be negative as we know that uh, whenever there is a li line like this it is negatively sloped downward or we can say this is a trade off or the negative relationship between y and x good okay so uh, so first we need to note here ki as your opportunity cost or marginal rate of technical substitution or your, the slope of the po uh, production possibility curve change your uh, direction or uh, your your uh, representation of this curve will change okay so in in this curve in the above curve we have increasing marginal rate of technical substitution so you have a convex uh, concave curve okay and here you have constant uh, opportunity cost so you have a straight line downward sloping from left to right curve now suppose uh, there's a increase in resources second there's increase in resources within an economy because of because of because of discovery of new resources so what will happen to the uh, cloth and food what hap what will happen to the cloth and food production the curve will shift parallel upward why because the as the additional unit uh, additional resources has been found in a country the production of both food and uh, it goes to the production of both and food food and cloth production as it is not directly related to a particular production so there will be parallel shift upward and the quantity of both cloth and food will increase maximum production of cloth cloth and food will be increased now third thing is to note here is the is the improvement in technology
of a particular group. Suppose, suppose the technology has improved for in the cloth industry. So this is your cloth. This is your food. So we are assuming that cloth industry technology has improved. So what will happen now with the same resources country can produce more because of the efficient utilization of resources has increased because of technology improvement. So the food production will remain the same and cloth production will shift upward from Y to Y1, y, Y1 to Y2 okay? because of improvement in technology. So, so you can see this is uh, because of improvement in technology curve will shift upward from for the cloth suppose if there is a uh, uh, decline in, in uh, or decrease in technology okay so what will happen to the curve curve will shift downward okay at y0 so so these are the things that you need to understand for understanding production possibility frontier curve hope you like this video and i'm i will be making more videos like this hope to see you in my next video Goodbye and see you soon.